Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have something a little bit different. I am unboxing the Gamer Girl Cross Body Bag from Geekshare. I ordered this through Wish Haven, W-I-S-H-A-V-E-N dot C-O-M, Wish Haven. And I believe Wish Haven is also the same company as Geekshare. Geekshare has their own website. And I think Geekshare is global, they ship globally, and then Wish Haven ships from China. So this came, this took about a few weeks to, to came. And it, was, it was actually really short. I ordered it um, on the same month and I got it on the same month. So it wasn't too bad considering shipping delays right now. So um, they only packaged it, the, the only downside is they, they packaged it in a bag. So it wasn't in the box. So the actual box itself is a little bit beat up, but I opened the box um, and the bag seems okay. So, um, which is the main important thing. So on the back, it just has the sticker and it does says Geek Share on it, made in China and then caution stuff. And then the side just looks like this. It actually looks like a really cool shoe box. And then there's a little handle, there's a little uh, fabric handle so you can hold it. You can actually gift this just is for a friend, which is kind of cool. Um, and then this is the top, and this is the front. It just says Gamer Girl Cross Body Bag Original Design Geek Share Delighting Our Gaming Life. And here is the back. It says Cross body bag, original design, lightweight, small, and easy to carry, beautiful and vibrant full color original artwork inside and out. The soft inner lining protected your system from scratches and wear so that you can game on the go. DIY car slot, unique transparent PVC car slot, which allows you to switch your favorite pictures anytime. Four cars are presented as a gift within the package. So basically there are four image cards and you can put it in front of the back. So it looks like, you know, actual like gaming quote unquote image on your uh, game girl bag, which looks like a, which, I mean this, but this bag literally just looks like a Game Boy. So it's kind of cool. So let's just open it up and see. Ta-da, and it comes in this little plastic bag. So let's just take the whole thing out. This is just how the inside of the box looks like, so nothing unique. And then here is the bag. It's a little plastic bag, a zip plastic bag, which I like. It just gives it more of a, I don't know, like a more fancier feel, I guess. I don't know. It's so beautiful. Look at this. So I got it in the purple one. So from what I can tell, when they first rele released this, they only had it in blue, this cute uh, baby blue. And then they came out with a... I think it was a more peachy color and then this is well it's pink but it looks more peachy to me online and then this is their purple one so obviously i really wanted the purple one and doesn't it it's so cute look it literally looks like a game boy and then the fabric is all sewn in it says geek share gamer girl there's a little card here so let me uh see if i can remove it There you go. Let's see what it says. It just, uh, oh, it says QC Pass. Um, so it's great. It's just, it, it passed like, uh, upon inspection, the product meets the technical standard and is approved for delivery. So just that. And then the back uh, just says Geek Share, their logo and everything. Here it says ISO. I'm not sure what that is. I guess that's like a, partner company or something I don't know if anybody knows you can tell me but so far I love the color looks really well made this is the side so this bag uh, 
Geek Share Gamer Girl Bag. It's advertised for basically your Switch. Um, if it's your Switch and then um, the controllers. Um, but I think I did hear that it doesn't fit the Switch Lite, just the, the original Switch, I guess. And I didn't buy this for the Switch. I bought it for everyday use because I know it'll at least fit your phone. Um, but phones are getting bigger, so, you know, I don't know. But it'll, it'll at least fit your... It's really small. Let's be honest here. It's really small. So if I get um, a ruler... So here's a ruler, and let's see. It's about... If I look at it... There you go. I accidentally turn the video off so if i look at it it looks like about seven inches no no it's about eight inches okay so it's about eight inches um from top and then from side view it's like about five inches so yeah it's not going to fit everything but let's say you are going on like a small run like an errand run um you know, you can fit your your wallet and maybe your phone, right? And then the side, let's check the side. So, because sometimes we ignore, you know, how big it is side to side. So, it's about three inches. So, it's not going to fit everything. But, you know, for like a cute cosplay look, this would be really great for... Let's say you're going to a, an anime convention and you just want to bring like the essentials like money, uh, wallet, well, your phone, wallet, and maybe like your mask or, you know, hand sanitizer and whatnot. This would be perfect. So let's just open the bag. Enough talking. Let's open the bag and see what's here. Okay. Oh, so here's the actual tag. Um, it says to like, delighting our gaming life. Uh, geek share and it says oh here's uh, how to uh, take care of your bag it says damp wipe only do not bleach hang dry do not dry clean and do not iron so none of that so just wipe it with a damp cloth or I, I guess a paper towel will work too oh and here's all their um, information right here if you want to look geekshare.com um, they're on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and they have an actual website. So yeah. And then here's the inside. Let's see if the zipper works. Most important thing. Ooh, perfect. Oh, and here are the actual images um, that they give out. So there's a literal gamer girl. Um, let's take out, I think there's, I can't remember how many there are, five images. And something to note that these are uh, on really thin paper, so it's not uh, plastic, it's not hard plastic. Um, it's not like a thick car stock, it is very thin. Um, it's a little bit thicker than uh, printer paper, but it's definitely really thin for I feel like for the purpose of it, it's really thin. So when you're putting it in here, you have to be careful. You might accidentally, you know, wrinkle it. But here's the first image of Gamer Girl. And then the second one looks like cute animals and it says snowing. Very cute. And then the third one looks like a lot of pop-up icons. Uh, pop up windows on a computer screen. Um, I don't know what that says. It says Gamer Girl 2019 um, words in Chinese. If anybody know what it says, please tell me. And oh, here's another similar image to the previous one snowing. Let's see. It looks like the same character. Really cute. I think the most popular one people use is this one. So let's just stuff it in here and see how it looks. 
Like I said earlier, you gotta be careful because paper is kind of on the thin side, so um, it might be, you gotta be gentle with putting it in here, but there you go. It looks kind of cute. And of course, you can put your own image in there. You can put like yourself if you want to. You can put your favorite, you know, artist or, you know, whoever you want. You can put your favorite anime character. You can put a picture of you and your friends. It all works. Okay, so on the inside, they have the little paper to keep the bag um, from being flat, which I like. And I always save these because I can use them for other bags. Just remove them. And then there should be a little handle in the bag. Yep, there it is. And it's also purple, so let's just take it out. And it comes in a plastic bag, which I like. Keep it uh, clean. Let's see, there you go. Here's the opening right here. So we'll just slide the plastic out. This looks like this. Um, it's one of those with uh, the little hole, so you're going to have to adjust the length of the strap, um, like I guess manually. I prefer the straps where you can just pull at it to adjust the length, but I think this type of strap just makes it look more fancier. Here's the inside. Again, it's not going to be that big, but that's how it looks on the inside. So there is a little uh, slot here and you can put your um, controllers in there. And again, I'm not going to use this, you know, for a switch. I'm just going to use it for every day. But it looks kind of cool. It looks really neat. I like it and it does fit my phone just about so that's a good thing I wish I had another phone to um, put in to see because I'm filming with my phone but it looks really cool I like it there's just enough you know to fit your everyday needs and let me put the straps on so we can see how that looks see we'll go with this part here to here take a little maneuvering there you go Ta-da! very easy um, one thing I will want to note is let me actually put the other on. Is so the strap, the strap here. Um, see how you can like turn it a little bit. It's one of those that you can kind of like turn it around. So when you're using the back, um, you can easily. I mean, it's not a big deal, but you could easily like um, accidentally, you know, flip it over like this right you see where i'm going at but other than that so it's kind of you know i wish it wasn't like that but you know again it's like preference um it's no big deal but for me i just noticed that um but other than that it's a pretty cute bag it's really well made um definitely something that i would recommend to my friends whether you're a gamer or not it just looks really cute whether you have a switch or not you know it's just, I think it's really nice for an everyday bag for a, you know, going out to do errands. I think this is really cute. And the strap is pretty lengthy, so obviously you can use it as a crossbody, or you can make it smaller and use it as like one shoulder. I love the color, really, really love it. When I uh, ordered this, they had all three different choices, and obviously I went with the purple because I really love purple and I love this sort of pastel purple it's kind of like a lavender 
I would say it's like a lavender purple. So yeah, um, I, I, if I were to rate this, I say maybe a eight out of ten. I think this is really pretty. I love it. I would totally recommend this for you know any friends that love bags like this. Obviously, it is really small, so you're not going to pack much. If you are going on vacation, I would say bring it, you know, for when you're just going out for like a walk or something. But if you're using it, you know, to really pack everything you need, all the essentials, um, I would say it might not fit everything. But if just for like, you know, a day outing, like I would totally use this for a date night. This would be so cute. Um, but other than that, I love it. The stitching is really nice. I don't really see any flaws for the price of it. I think I got it for, I can't remember the price. It was like around 30 something dollars. I think I got it for 20% off. So it was like 27. I might be totally wrong. I can't remember. But um, it was not expensive for the size and for the style. It looks really well made. It's just really, really, really pretty. And for the color of it, it's perfect. It's exactly what I like. It is really gorgeous. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this for friends. And they, there are a lot of similar bags out there. Like if you go on AliExpress, and I'm sure, you know, Wish, there are similar bags, but definitely not something like this. I have a similar bag that I got on AliExpress and it's flatter, but it's bigger. But if I were to compare both of these, I would definitely say this is even better, a lot better. So yeah, if you wanna, you know, I mean, this is not, it's not expensive. It's pretty decent for, you know, the price. Um, but if you want something, you know, on the smaller side and it looks good on you, I say get this one, definitely. And there's three different color choices, so why not? Why not? And let's look closer at the strap. Some of the, uh, what is it? Some of the thread is hanging out, which it'll happen. But I say that's no big deal. For the price, no big deal. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you've ever wanted to see how this bag looks in person, this is how it looks. And if you don't mind the size of it, I say go for it. Check it out. They have three different colors, blue, pink, and purple. I have the one in purple. And it's really cute. I love it. I love it. Again, I wish I had a phone to uh, to show you if it fits. I mean, I'm using my phone right now. I guess I can put the phone in and show you that it does fit all the way in. But you're, you're about to see everything in black. So it's going to be dark. Good. You can hear me. It does fit the phone in, and I have a. Ta da! I just put the phone in. I have a uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I think the 13 is a little bit bigger or the same size. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it fits the 11 Pro Max. So uh, use your judgment. Check out your phone size. So it definitely fits and it definitely zips. So yeah. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. I never usually do these types of things. I don't really unbox bags unless I really think, you know, I really want to do it. And yeah, so definitely a cute bag. Would recommend it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.